Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to Fredericton High School. Rogers TV coverage of the Maritime Women's Basketball Association. I'm Bill Gibson. We are in for a dandy here this afternoon. There are eight games remaining in the league schedule coming into today and the final weekend ahead, and much to be decided. This game features the home court, Fredericton Freeze, and the visiting Halifax Thunder. The Thunder enter this one 7-0, and in fact, have not lost through 27 regular season games in their three years in the league and three years of the league's existence. Only loss came in year one in the final. Other than that, they've not lost, but boy, they were in for a dandy one last night. One by one in Miramichi against the Hurricane, 61-60. Carly Epp has had 21, Alina McMillan, McMillan 15. And it was Lauren Rainford, game leading scorer with 22, and Cassidy Hamilton with eight for the first year Hurricanes. What a battle that was. The Freeze, they come in four and three, just slightly ahead of the race for a home playoff spot on the New Brunswick side. Port City Fog at four and four, and Miramichi Hurricanes at three and four, right on their heels as well. Freeze are coming off a loss at Port City. Sa starters being introduced for the Thunder, that's Sandy Saunders. Locals here in New Brunswick will be familiar with Saunders at a Woodstock High School. Three is Kiara Duffy. Another player with Fredericton family roots. Four is Grace Lancaster. Seven is Alina McMillan. McMillan leads the team with 19 points. And Carla Yepes, who had the big game last night. Thunder trailed by eight at halftime in that one. Yepes had at least 10 by my count in a third quarter. So I can close that gap. Starters for the freeze. Ann Baskin wears number six. Robbie Daly, number nine. Katie Butts wears number 11. Allie McCarthy wears 12. And Bailey Russell will wear number 10. Freeze with a giveaway. Here's, here's to the fans. These are some sweatshirts that the Freeze have. They are throwing to the crowd. Set now for the national anthem. Just about set for tip here. Officials for this game, Mr. Adam Humphrey, Mr. Kyle Woodworth, and Mr. Matt Whipple. They are the three charges, making sure it all goes according to Hoyle here this afternoon. Breeze putting their 27 game regular season unbeaten streak on the line, or pardon me, the Thunder putting their 27 game unbeaten streak on the line against the Freeze. Some key scratches on each side, we'll get into them in a moment, but each team down 25 plus points per game from the scratches in this one. It'll be Butts against Duffy on the tap. Butts wins the tap, out of bounds to the Thunder. Sandy Saunders were inbound, the line of McMillan in the backcourt. McMillan is the 
instigator of the offense at 19 points per game. Quick double there by the Freeze to start out on McMillan. Freeze coming with aggression and lots of switches into the post for Duffy. Duffy scores two. Kira Duffy with the first two points for the Thunder. Bastion directs offense for Bailey Russell. That's Katie Butts for Robbie Daly on the baseline. Doesn't get that to go. That's a rebound for Duffy and now a lead pass. Take away by the freeze and Bailey Russell off that pass from Carla Yepes. It's gonna be Yepes on Butts. Good reach in by Yepes to knock the ball away. Duffy again, finds Lancaster for three. 5-0 early going for the Thunder. Nice ball movement on offense. Capitalize on that freeze turnover. Katie Butts will take the three. That one's no good to be knocked out of bounds by Bailey Russell. Katie Butts will take the occasional three-pointer. Stretch the defense out and she can make those. I think if you're the Thunder though, you'll live with Katie Butts shooting the three ball. Nice screen set by Yepes, gets the return pass from Saunders. And they work it inside very nicely for Grace Lancaster. 7-0 start here through a minute 45 for this high-flying Thunder team. They come in as the highest scoring team in the league at nearly 88 points per game. The Freeze, 69 points per game. The Freeze can't afford to drop two back, two far back early. Ali McCarthy enters with a three. Takes a big bite out of the lead. McMillan for Duffy. Duffy blocked by Russell. Knocked out of bounds by Russell. Here Duffy's asking, how did Bailey Russell get that shot? Back for Yepes. Yepes takes the deep shot. Rebound into the hands of Ali McCarthy, and that's going to be a foul on the line of McMillan. Her first foul, teams first, games first. There you see the three-pointer launched into the hands. And yeah, good, good replay there. Collision. Very clearly foul on McMillan. Clock is rolling. Resetting the shot clock here, 220. Brand new scoreboards here at FHS, new scoreboard controller. Shot clock's up on the backboard, along with the game clock. Looks great here in the gym. Those old scoreboards have been here since I think I went to high school here many, many years ago. Post catch for Robbie Daly. Daly operates in traffic. That one's going to be out of bounds off of Yepes. 7-3, we've played about two and a half minutes. Freeze could use a score. Inbound for Butts from the elbow, makes two. It's catch and shoot there for Katie Butts. McMillan, low center of gravity on McMillan. Another three make from the corner, that is Lancaster again. Grace Lancaster averages just under 10 points per game for the Thunder at 9.6. Back for Butts. Travel called on Katie Butts. First subs in. This will be for the Thunder. 14 is Sammy Russell. And 6 is Sophie Atkinson. Tell you now about the scratches. Scratches for the Thunder. Justine Colley Legier scored 13 a game. Katie Upham at 6.7 points. And Katie Ross at 7.2. That's about 27 points. 
scratch there for the Thunder. Missed there as the Thunder get the offensive rebound in McMillan. Another three put up that time, rebounded by Russell. McMillan for a triple. That one is good. 13-5, Thunder. Scratch for the freeze, Katie Daly at 10.6 points per game. Eva Tamwine at 8.8. .8. As well as Jane Boyle at 5.8, that's 25 points. Yepes. Freeze control the rebound. Bailey Russell takes the deep shot. Katie Butts fights for the rebound, puts it back up too strong. Rebound into the hands of Sammy Russell for Carla Yepes. Another three out of the corner for Grace Lancaster. This is a deadly shooting team. 33% from deep as a collective are the Thunder. 50% from two-point land. Ali McCarthy answers for two. Amanda Russell, Jenny Enclos set to check in for the freeze at the next opportunity. Nice pass inside for the opportunity for a three-point play for Sammy Russell, who gets the runner to go down. Foul is going to be on number 11. That's going to be on Katie Butts. Katie's first, team's first. Butts and Daly out. Amanda Russell, Jenny Enqua in. There you see the foul on Butts and the nice take. Nice take there by Russell. Mr. Humphrey didn't like how I set up the chairs. Just everybody move back about six inches. I'll remember that the next time we're in the gym. Thunder work the offensive rebound. Doubling up the freeze here at... Amanda Russell picks up the foul. Checking back in is Kiara Duffy. Duffy and Russell with a little connection there as Duffy checks in. It's gonna be a good matchup, Duffy and Russell. Quick feet of McMillan. Sammy Russell behind the back dribble for the cutting Atkinson. Now we're back up top for McMillan. Shot clock violation. A little too much on the outside, not aware of the shot clock situation. Must say it had me fooled too. I wasn't paying close enough attention. Pleased to have it along here on this Sunday afternoon on Rogers TV. Inside McCarthy, kick outside Russell. Russell makes the triple. Nice make by Bailey Russell. Thunder up six. Oh, nice move by Sammy Russell. Wow. And Bastion for Amanda Russell. Amanda Russell scores two. Sammy Russell for Alina McMillan. Taken away by Amanda Russell. Stepped into the passing lane. Pass ahead for Bailey Russell who has two points. Breeze on the comeback trail here. Now down four. 2016, four minutes to go. A lot has changed here since Amanda Russell checked in. Sammy Russell on the miss. Alina McMillan steps in front for the rebound. Passes it into the paint for Duffy. Duffy reverse and rolls it over to the front of the rim. Nice pass from McMillan. Pick up the assist on that play. Russell lobs inside for Russell. That's Bailey to Amanda. Subs are in here. It's going to be Leah Travers and Neva Gassam in for Bailey Russell and Jenny Inqua. And Bastion, Ali McCarthy yet to check out. That is McCarthy with the post catch. Step back shot. One bounce. Rebound is fought for. Got a kick ball. 
going to go over to the freeze. As Sydney Gooker Wiki ties up the laces, puts a nod in the Nikes. Gooker Wiki checked in. Alina McMillan with the pass, a little too much for Duffy, but she collects it in the corner. Sammy Russell with the catch on the outside. Russell against Gazum. Good reach in by Gazum. Atkinson blocked by Travers, but it's Gooker Wiki on the inside who collects the loose ball and scores two points. Lead back up to eight. Amanda Russell, deep two. No good. Maeva Gassum gets the tie up. This jump ball should go to the freeze, I believe. Yes. A uh, bevy of subs waiting here. I'll just reset the Thunder lineup. 11 is Yepes. 10 is Molina Collins. 1 is Sandy Saunders. 4 is Grace Lancaster. And six is Sophie Atkinson. Three-pointer made by the Freeze. Five-point game. Eve McDonald will check in for the Freeze in the next opportunity. Atkinson launches the three rebound. Yepes inside. Yepes is going to be fouled on the rebound. I think it's going to be on McCarthy. It is. Subs in, Eve McDonald will come in for Ann Baskin. Ann gets the first break here, about eight minutes of play. Nice drive there, but Lancaster can't finish. Again, it's the Thunder collecting the loose ball. Atkinson outside for Yepes. Yepes looks for the power step corner kick. There's another triple. Thunder regularly getting that three-point shot in that corner and knocking it down. 27-19, a big scoring first quarter here for the Thunder. Freeze look to do the same from the other side. That's Travers who's short with the three. McDonald fights for the loose ball. And a foul given. That's going to be on Grace Lancaster, number four for the Thunder. McCarthy with the catch. Alley into the paint, back outside. Eve McDonald, Eve gets free and puts up a shot that goes in. Saunders back out for Yepes. Yepes works off the dribble. Atkinson, another triple. Sophie Atkinson. Great start here to the game. Not sure the Thunder have missed from beyond the arc today. Gasm, power step, high off glass, rebound for Saunders. Saunders gets into the paint. Russell with the defense and collects the rebound. Taken away though by Atkinson. Knocked out of bounds by Eve McDonald. Subs in Katie Butts. For my Ava Gasm. Going to reset the shot clock. To 20 seconds. They should have had 24, not the 14 reset. 40.4 to go in the quarter, 20 on the shot clock. Yepes is going to get an opportunity for the end one. It's going to be the second foul on Amanda Russell. Jenny Enkla checks back in for Amanda Russell, picked up second foul on that play. Big scoring first quarter here for the Thunder. Freeze at 21 points, well ahead of their season average, but 
plus 30 quarter here for the Thunder. They have been hitting everything. Travers for McCarthy. That's Butts on the outside, looking inside for Jenny Enqua. Enqua will draw the free throws and go to the line. Foul goes on Sandy Saunders. There you see the pass inside. Enqua out of Brampton, Ontario. And Bill, Bill Crothers secondary. Second season with the freeze for Jenny. Good on the second free throw. Ten point lead here for the Thunder. Saunders uses a screen, gets free, keeps the dribble alive. For Collins, who takes the three pointer. There's a miss from downtown. 12 in the quarter left as the freeze come across half. Shot clock shut itself off. Jenny Enqua for three. Big make there for the freeze. Not who you expect to make the triple at the end of the quarter. The freeze will take it. Jenny Enqua with the step back three. There it goes through. And a big smile there from Jenny. So the freeze down seven to the Thunder here through one quarter. One other game going on today in the association. And that is the Halifax Hornets looking for their first win at the Miramichi Hurricanes. So not to get too far ahead of ourselves here today. But it's an interesting storyline. One, it could be the freeze taking down the Thunder, and now the Thunder are ahead. That doesn't happen. There's an opportunity today if the Hurricanes beat the Hornets. I have no idea how that game's going. That there could possibly be a four-way tie here in New Brunswick with three teams at four and four. And then the Mon Moncton Mystics, who won yesterday in Dartmouth against the Lake City 56ers, sitting at three and five, so one game separating all four teams going in to the last week of play is a possibility coming out of today. If things break the way they could. Of course, the other possibility is the Hornets picking up their first win. And the freeze. Dropping down the beanstalk with the giant thunder record attached to it. Freeze are stuck seven here, though, after the first quarter, 33-26. I'm Bill Gibson. You're watching Rogers TV coverage of the Maritime Women's Basketball Association. Pleased to be bringing you the game here on Sunday afternoon. It'll be Thunderball here as we start quarter number two. It'll be back to the starters, it looks like, for the Thunder. That's McMillan with Saunders, Lancaster, Yepes. And Duffy, indeed it is back to the starters, and it's back to the starters for the freeze as well. Saunders makes another triple for the Thunder. Thunder come in making 33% from behind the arc. They're well ahead of that pace in this one. Baskin's pass deflected, but into the hands of McCarthy. Robbie Daly takes a long two. Rebound for the Thunder. Free start this quarter with Baskin, Butts, Bailey Russell. There's Duffy who picks up the short shot for the reverse lay-in. Along with McCarthy and Robbie Daly are your freeze personnel. Bring inside for Butts, pass just a little too strong into the hands of Grace Lancaster. Lancaster for McMillan. McMillan, little fake inside, draws the foul, will go to the line and shoot two. I think this foul will be on Robbie Daly. Does indeed go on Robbie Daly. Good 
McMillan out of Brantford, Ontario. St. John's College Lincoln Prep. St. Mary's from 2018 to 2024. Played a year with the Hornets. Did McMillan. Three-time AUS first team all-star. An AUS second team all-star. An AUS rookie team. Two-time tournament MVP. Two-time tournament all-star. Two-time champions. New athlete of the year. Impressive basketball and athletic resume for McMillan. Another takeaway by the Thunder, and it's McMillan for Saunders. Butts on the board. Keeps the ball high ahead. Robbie Daly. Blocked by Yepes. Daly gets it back, though, and can't make the two. Tough luck there for Robbie Daly. But it's Bailey Russell who cleans up the two points. Lead down to 11. Mellon's going to be called for the travel there. I think just a little slide of the foot. I think your teammates say, yeah, there was a travel there. Great replay. Amanda Russell set to check in shortly here. Move to the front of the bench. There's Bailey Russell. Had it knocked away. Called out. And now Amanda Russell will check in. Amanda Russell for Katie Butts. Freeze ball on the inbound. For Ali McCarthy. McCarthy elevates, scores two points. Lead pass for Lancaster, who just lost the handle there out of bounds. Grace Lancaster at a Fall River High School and Lockview played at UPEI. Russell thought about the three, gets Duffy down. Inside Amanda Russell, Bailey Russell to Amanda Russell. No relation that I know of at least. Threes get the lead down to seven for the Thunder. Bastion with a deflected pass right in the hands of McMillan outside Yepes. There's a three-pointer that rims out, but on the rebound again are the Thunder and Lancaster. Another miss from long range, and McMillan again collects the board. Yepes step back for two. Bailey Russell will finally get the board for the freeze. And off to Ali McCarthy. As hot as the Thunder have been, the freeze are right in this one. That two points there will help from Robbie Daly. Going to make it a five-point game, just two possessions, despite the hot shooting of the Thunder here in this first half. Yepes will try again from deep. That one off the back of the rim into the hands of Ali McCarthy. A score here, and it's a one-possession game all of a sudden. Looking for Amanda Russell, who's got it in deep, and she scores. Chance to complete the end one as well. There you see Russell gets established early down low. Gets Yepes on her back. It's too easy for Amanda Russell when she gets in that deep. Foul goes on Yepes. Three-point game, Russell, to make it a one-point game. Subs were in that time for the Thunder. Sammy Russell and Sophie Atkinson, I believe, were the subs. for the threes with Leah Travers. Travers in for Ali McCarthy. Threes were looking for the trap there. Back outside for Russell. Cross court pass. McMillan open for three. Just like that, the Thunder add three more to the board. Did you go for Wiki set to check in? Into the post again for Amanda Russell. There's two. Oh, I thought you were going to have two more points. Thought that was going to roll over the front of the rim. Nice fake by Atkinson. Corner kick again. Lancaster. Finally a miss out there from Lancaster. Baskin feeds Russell again. Locked out of bounds by Duffy. 
And you see Russell gets the return pass. Oh no, it wasn't Duffy at all. It was Grace Lancaster got a hand on that. Did you look her wiki in for Grace Lancaster? Freeze just feeding Amanda Russell in the post. And there's two more points for Amanda Russell. That'll make the folks in Grand Manan happy. Shout out if you're watching on Rogers TV in Grand Manan for this one. Long corner pass for Gookie Wick, Gooker Wiki. Ina McMillan just threw that one over the rainbow, if you will. Rare error from McMillan. Doesn't give too many away like that. Bastin with the pass inside for Gaslam right through the hands. Great pass, just couldn't connect on the catch. McMillan. Oh, nice move by Russell inside to score two points. Great feed from McMillan. There's another assist for Alina. And a block. That time on the Robbie Daly shot. Time the freeze get close. The Thunder have an answer on defense. A couple good defensive plays there the last two trips down. Duffy settles. Outside for Russell for three. Need back up to eight. Quick run by the Thunder to counter the freeze. Travers going to get called for the travel on the loss of control of the dribble. Ali McCarthy, Eve McDonald check in for the freeze. Carly Yepes, Sandy Saunders in for the Thunder. That's Russell. She just made one from out there. That shot missed by Saunders. Rebound for the freeze. Ahead for Eve McDonald. Corner pass. Travers for three. That one a little short. A good spot for Travers. Just couldn't get that one down. Russell's going to try it again. Jenny Enqua, who made the three late in the first quarter, checks in for Amanda Russell. May see Russell again in this quarter. Freeze down eight into the front court. McCarthy back for Enqua. Outside for Travers. There's a triple open. That one is off the window and in. For Leah Travers, a little bank shot. Freeze will take the three. Freeze wanted to travel there on Gooker Wiki, didn't get the call. Yepes on the dribble, the pass for Russell off glass. Rebound for Enqua. Travers was there on the board as well, got a little piece of that on the first tap. Travers just saw one go in. Let's see if we look for another one from Travers. There it is, Leah Travers finds the shooting touch. Freeze back within two. Russell tied up by Enqua, kicked outside. Seven to shoot now as Saunders on the drive. Runner off the glass, and we've got a rebound foul. Just go on the Thunder. There's going to be timeout Thunder here as well. There you see the action. Saunders didn't have a great angle there, and you see coming over the back is Sophie Atkinson for the foul. Eve McDonald, good position there. So a couple triples from Leah, Tra Leah Travers. A good call there by the refs. That's a great replay, that angle right there on that last one. And it's time out Thunder. Thunder were down eight yesterday in Miramichi. Getting late here in the first half, and they're up two on the freeze. Thanks to those last couple triples by Travers. Shout out to Leah's family, who undoubtedly are finding a way to watch from Alberta. 
Calgary, wherever they may be. When Travers is hot, seen her get hot a few times for UMB. Just get her the open shot. She likely will knock it down. Good look at the Sunday afternoon crowd here. A little overcast day in Fredericton. And a lot going on. Of course, the freeze bumped out of their usual UMB location. Come here to FHS to the schools out shootout going on at UMB. Over 40 teams in town, and of course, with the breeze on the uh, thunder on the schedule here, wanted to get the game in as early as possible. Could have waited for a little later start, but want to get the thunder on the road back to the Halifax area. Yepes for Saunders, back for Abby Carpenter, who's checked in with a miss. Freeze, a chance to tie or go ahead on this possession. Russell will try the go ahead. There it is, the freeze suddenly up one for being stuck 11 not that long ago. It is the freeze 48, Thunder 47. As the freeze answer back with some triples of their own. Oh, nice move by Yepes to get inside, but can't finish. Yenkwa with the rebound. That's Bailey Russell on the catch, and it's going to be a shuffle of the feet, I think. Oh, we've got a shot clock issue. Looking for 19 on the shot clock is what they're looking for. Should have been a, a reset there that didn't occur. Reset to... Uh, only 14 instead of 24. Inside for Butts. Butts is going to take the 10-footer and come up a little short. Rebound, Yepes. Saunders doesn't get the foul call. Rebound, Russell. Off for McCarthy. McCarthy for Jenny Enqua. Jenny's got a lane down the line for two. Five on the game now. Actually, more than that, she was the line as well. Yepes tries the triple. That one's off iron. Rebound freeze. Ahead. For Ali McCarthy with the little teardrop that falls. Freeze up five, 52 47. Final 30 seconds here against the Thunder. Saunders. Step through on the lane. Enqua is there with the defense. But Saunders got that one to go. Nice move by Saunders. Threes can hold to the last shot, and they probably will. In for Butts in the post. Back outside, Travers. Extra pass made. That one just a little too strong. On the rebound is Yepes. One second left, and the heave. That would have counted. Freeze with the lead at halftime against the Thunder. 52 to 49 at the half. Got a halftime interview lined up here with Robbie Daly. So I'm going to go over and get into inter interview position. I'll be right back in just one moment with an interview with Robbie.
Femi Russell, nine. And Sophie Atkinson, five. There's Gooker Wicky, leaves it short, but is fouled. And will shoot two, a little late whistle on that one. Thunder will start. Gooker Wicky, Duffy. 14 is Sammy Russell, Alina McMillan is seven and nine. Pardon me, six is Sophie Atkinson. Had to have the players move around there a little bit. Booker Wicky makes the second freeze counter with Butts, Robbie Daly, Bailey Russell, Ann Bastion, and Ali McCarthy. Now in a one point contest, two makes by Booker Wicky. Closes the gap down to one. Russell for McCarthy. There's a long two, toes were on the line there. Rebound inside by Bailey Russell. Freeze reset with Katie Butts. Robbie Daly looking back for Butts, late shot clock. Good defense there by the Thunder, knocked that away and a lead pass. Robbie Daly with the defense, but it's still a catch inside and a finish for two for Sammy Russell, just like that. The Thunder start out with a 4-0 run to take the lead back from the freeze. Just a minute in to quarter number three. Freeze, opportunity here to give the Thunder their first regular season loss in their franchise in league history. Foul there on Gooker Wiki. And send Robbie Daly to the line. Robbie Daly, two years at SMU, three at Dalhousie, 98 career AUS games. AUS All-Rookie Team. AOS Student Athlete Community Service Award as well. 125 eSports games played, including playoff action and preseason action for Robbie Daly, 98 in the regular season. Tied at 53, but Daly goes one of the two. McMillan thought about the triple. Back outside, Duffy with the fake and drive. Someone got a piece of that underneath, and then another block from behind on the shot by Robbie Daly. Sammy Russell had that knocked away. Pass from Ali McCarthy, a little bit too high for Robbie Daly. In fact, Robbie Daly would have needed a 14-foot ladder to catch that one, I think. Tough to carry that around on the court. Oh, nice cut by Duffy, nice speed. A nice pass delivered as well by Sammy Russell. Thunder back up to Bailey Russell, deep three. That one rattled out. Good rebound inside by Duffy. Atkinson gets downhill right to the glass. Rebound Bailey Russell. Good ball pursuit right by the Thunder. Ali McCarthy gets it back for Russell. Now Katie Butts, spot up, three-pointer is good. Katie Butts put the freeze back up one. That only went on the board as a two. I thought that was a three. Maybe it was only a two. Wow, acrobatic shot there from Duffy, but it doesn't go down. Bailey Russell for three, and that is good. That one's definitely from behind the arc. Freeze now up three. Amanda Russell set the check back in. That's McMillan. For Russell, that one finds no rim. Little laugh there from Sammy Russell. Robbie Daly out. Amanda Russell in some subs as well. Saunders, Yepes, and Lancaster for the Thunder. Very deep Thunder squad. squad. Coach Parker Regan able to run out multiple combinations of outstanding players. In fact, I do up a sheet of notes prior to every game. Type it up with every team. I have so many notes in the Thunder that I had to go down a font size on my legal paper size to get everything in that I wanted to get in for the Thunder on the resume. And of course, Justine Colley Legier takes up about 25% of that with her resume alone. Of course, a scratch today for the Thunder. Just outstanding talent. Russell takes the shot, rebound, goes to Lancaster. 
Lancaster for Yepes. Alina McMillan thought about the three. Good closeout by Amanda Russell. McMillan will take that deep three, though. That one's too strong. Rebound for Bailey Russell. Bailey Russell's having a good game on the boards for the freeze. There's Russell. Picked up the dribble after one. Back for Amanda Russell. Works into the paint. Finds space. Keeps the ball up. Knocks it outside. One to shoot. They didn't get the reset on that. I thought we had... Just no rim. Yeah. Mellon behind the back dribble. Going to pick up the foul on Ann Baskin. Lina McMillan. Averaging 19 a game. And from the line this season, 92%. Here's Alina McMillan. That's almost automatic. There are a number on the Thunder who've yet to miss. Coming into this weekend's play. Of course, all the stats I'm talking about don't include last night's game or today's game as a non get process. McMillan almost a steal. And Baskin came back to get the ball. Score there. Somehow our in-house scoreboard has lost the names Thunder and Freeze. We're back to home and guest. Not sure when that happened. Two shots there on the drive. Foul goes on Gasm. Grace Lancaster to the line. Lancaster at a Fall River. Five foot nine inch guard. If I make. Make it a two point game. Katie Butts can't collect the rebound and it's going to be 14 on the shot clock. Thunder down two and inbounding in the offensive end. Nearing the midway mark here of quarter number three. What a great weekend the Maritime Women's Basketball Association game this has been. That was a hit the horn button as a to instead of hitting the start the clock button here. Good look at the scores table just to, to my left. So we're going to do it all over again. Reset the game clock, reset the score clock, and there's Sandy Saunders making a three. That's going to put the Thunder back up one. Started to talk about how great the action has been here all weekend long. The biggest margin was the Hornets and the Fog. But the Hornets were within two. It was under five to go. Katie Butts with the near impossible angle shot. Gets that one to go off the glass. You get it up off that square, it's your friend. Freeze back up one, 62-61. We had an overtime game yesterday. And we had a one-pointer in Miramichi. Ava Gasson picks up. Second foul here in short succession. On the reach in there, good call. Inbounded for Lancaster. Yepes finds McMillan. McMillan gets speed and Ann Bastion with a reach from behind. Blown down. Have another look at this one on the replay. Watch McMillan come around with speed. And there you see the reach in. Referee says Bastion got the elbow with the swing. And Bastion didn't think so. That's bonus situation already for the Thunder. Lina McMillan, a rare miss from the line. One. 
Makes the second. Inbounded for Amanda Russell. Back for Ann Bastion. Three subs waiting for the Thunder. Gooker Wiki among them. Katie Butts catch and shoot from baseline. Rims out. Rebound to Lina McMillan. McMillan has Lancaster. And Lancaster with the nice finish. Nice delivery from Alina McMillan. See why she is such a key player for the Thunder. The way she delivers those passes. Amanda Russell can't get the jump shot to go. Rebound a Thunder. Yepes keeps the pivot alive and finds McMillan. McMillan again downhill. Pass to the corner. Rimmed out for Saunders that time. Saunders, former player at Woodstock High School in the Thunder program. But that's Travers. She made a couple triples. We're up tight on her now. Knocked out of bounds, called off the freeze. Allie McCarthy will come back in. Jenny Enqua, Booker Wiki, Kiara Duffy, and Sammy Russell all enter the game. So a reset here for the freeze. Butts, Enqua, McCarthy, Gasm, and Travers. Are your freeze five? Duffy blocked by Enqua. Big defense there for the freeze. And it's Enqua, McCarthy, Travers, Gasm, and Butts. Kick outside, Travers. There's another three. That one is front rimmed, though, from Leah Travers. Russell for Lancaster. Kick for Saunders behind the arc shot again. That time it goes down for Sandy Saunders. Thunder lead back up to five. Freeze led by three at half, 52-49. Eighteen points in the quarter already for the Thunder. Enqua on the return pass, kick outside Travers. She's open. That one's no good. Rebound, but throws it up off the glass on the putback. And Mava Gasm picks up her third foul. I think all in this shift. <laughs> Bailey Russell, Robbie Daly check back in. Kiara Duffy on the line. Leaves the first one short. Duffy was the guest of Kat Corvettes and I on the Maritime Women's Basketball Association podcast. Hoops our way. Go to the league website, dmwba.ca. Hit the About button. You can find the podcast there on some of the podcast apps as well. Still waiting for approval on Apple. We may be through the season before we get that one. That's the way Apple works. Takes a few weeks often to get approved. We're still waiting on that. What a great guest Duffy was as well, sharing her experience. A couple knee injuries in high school for Duffy. Robbie Daly makes a long two. Freeze need those points. Cut it the lead now down to five. Make it four. If I can do math here. Saunders guarded by Russell on the outside. Booker Wiki. Caught with the toes and the tulips out of bounds on the far side on the catch for Gooker Wiki. Jim here a little bit quiet for the quality of this game. Bailey, uh, pardon me, Ali McCarthy. Timeout Thunder on that make. Freeze, back within two, 68-66. Ali McCarthy got free for a quick two points. A good look at the freeze huddle and coach Kevin Daly. Great time to thank the sponsors, thanks to Meta V and Royale League founding sponsors, Cushman Wakefield Atlantic, as well as Atlanta Lottery, Atlantic Lottery Pro Line on board this season as sponsor for Legacy Cup. And that's coming up. One more week to go in the regular season, then the playoffs. 
Playoff format this year is different. Not everybody goes to the Legacy Cup. Only four teams advance. New Brunswick teams, one and two in New Brunswick, will have the opportunity to host a playoff game, the winner of those playoff games. That's going to be against three and four in New Brunswick on the Tuesday. Go to the Legacy Cup final in, Har in Halifax being played at Dalhousie University on the 22nd, 23rd. Nova Scotia side, only three teams there. So one plays three on the Tuesday. The loser plays team two on Thursday. The two winners advance to the Legacy Cup. And then we're going to reseed based on the full regular season standings to see the matchups there. Much, much to be decided here in this game and down the stretch. Thunder are all but assured by to be Nova Scotia one. You can't see them going 0-3 through the rest of the schedule, although we still have to play the games out. Hornets will be Nova Scotia three, so they'll play the Tuesday game on the road for sure, and the opportunity, if they're a loser of that, to then play team number two, which right now is the 76ers, or pardon me, 56ers. Nice bank shot there on the spin move by Sammy Russell. Russell of Dartmouth and Dartmouth High, three years at Acadia. Second team All-Star in 23-24 at the AUS level. There's Bailey Russell on the nice feed from Ali McCarthy as the freeze answer to keep it a two-point game. Down to just a minute to go here in quarter three. What a contest this has been. Thunder finding out just how tough it is to come on the road here in New Brunswick. One-point game yesterday, and they're in another barn burner here this afternoon with the freeze. Of course, both teams short-handed, about 25 points missing from each roster with scratches. Bailey Russell blocked that time. I think that was Duffy who got the block. Russell runs into Travers, no call. Duffy with the save, though, right in the hands of Ali McCarthy. McCarthy with a Gumby move by Robbie Daly and a spot-up three for Russell doesn't go. Enqua and McCarthy were fighting for the rebound. Out of bounds off the freeze with 23 even to go here in the quarter. Loving the new, sh new shot clocks here that just automatically shut off. When we get late in the quarter, Lina McMillan checks in. Eve McDonald's gonna check in undoubtedly to check McMillan. Leah Travels goes out, and it is Eve McDonald gonna line up. The quick-footed soccer player Eve played high school basketball right here at FHS. We'll get a line of McMillan. Outside shot is too strong by Russell. Rebound McCarthy. Tricky dribble there from McCarthy. Nice screen from Eve McDonald. Bailey Russell for three. That doesn't go. Put back by Robbie Daly would not have counted. So the Thunder plus five in this quarter to go up 70-68. Two-point game going to the fourth. What a contest this is. Parker Regan was looking for a foul there. That was a great screen by Eve McDonald. Just as that quarter expired, and the freeze got a great look from Bailey Russell, who made a big shot in the 56ers game as well. Look inside the huddle with Parker Regan. extended that's Amanda Russell's father Charlie good to see Charlie back in the gym as a fixture through Amanda's time at UNB and of course at FHS as well I think we'll see a lot of Amanda Russell this quarter set to go here it is Butts, Bailey Russell, Ali McCarthy, Robbie Daly, and Ann Bastion, the starting five for the freeze for the Thunder. 
It is Alina McMillan, Carla Yepes, Sandy Saunders. Sophie Atkinson wears six, and number 14 is Sammy Russell. There is McMillan guarded by Basket. McMillan behind the back dribble to get the action started. Baskin gets the takeaway and the foul on McMillan. Wasn't sure which way that one was going to go. Oh, there you see it's a great steal and that is a great call there. A great replay. McMillan clearly on the arm. Didn't think so, but there you saw it right there in that replay. Clear hook on the arm of Baskin. Possibly argue that maybe there was a Baskin foul not called before that, but certainly the one on McMillan was a foul. Russell can't make the long shot. Rebound for the Thunder. Sammy Russell of the Thunder gets rejected inside, back outside. Saunders on the tough drive and score. Four point lead. Thunder, long pass for Katie Butts. Thoughts in the turnover, Robbie Daly. A little bit too strong for Butts on the pass. Back for McMillan and Saunders. Saunders thought about a three. Instead finds Russell on the drive. Nice pass, nice finish. Saunders to Sammy Russell. Sammy Russell is having an afternoon here for the Thunder. Bailey Russell for three. Big point for the freeze. Cut that six point lead in half. Back to a one possession game. Knocked away by Bastion. McMillan tries a triple, too strong rebound. Bailey Russell off for Ali McCarthy. Forward to seeing the stats in this one and Bailey Russell's rebounding numbers. Looking for the return pass for Butts. Instead, it's a lead pass on the outlet for McMillan who scores two. Thunder forcing the freeze into turnovers and the freeze not looking after the ball on passing. Offensive foul called there on Bailey Russell. Go here, Wiki in, Amanda Russell in. Yeah, did get the arm out on that one. Good replay. Good replay there from folks at Rogers TV. I'm Bill Gibson, pleased to be part of the Rogers crew, crew here once again this afternoon. The place is mic'd up, cameras all over everywhere. Fun time here on a Sunday. Yepes for McMillan. Big bucket if it goes. That's an eight-point lead. Tough for the freeze, picking up fouls and giving the ball away on offense. Russell was fouled on the way to the rim. Daly for Russell. Russell, yeah, fouled on the way up by Yepes. Sends Amanda Russell to the line. Russell averaging 11 points a game for the freeze. Nine in the first half. I think we'll see a lot of Amanda Russell here through the final 7-24. Lead down to six. Atkinson for Saunders. Yepes against Russell. Yepes can't get it to go, and Amanda Russell gets the rebound and the foul. It's going to go on Gooker Wiki on the rebound action. There you see Russell with the board, and Gooker Wiki uh, with the reach in. As soon as Russell turned, may have a gasm in. Leah Travers in for the freeze. Joining Bailey Russell, Amanda Russell. And Ali McCarthy. Oh, 
Amanda Russell with the keeper. It's going to be called out of bounds off the Thunder. Maeve Gassum, I think, lucky not to pick up a rebounding foul that time. No rim, five to shoot here for the freeze. And to Russell on the catch on the baseline, two to shoot. Russell back outside for Travers, and that's going to be a shot clock violation. Good defense by the Thunder. The Thunder can do that as well. One of the better defender, defensive teams. A couple questions here on the new shot clock. It goes zero, and then after the zero second is gone, because you don't see the decimal, it goes off. You saw the decimal on the shot clock. It would be 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and then the buzzer. So when it hits zero, there's actually still that fraction of a second left. Travel called, another freeze turnover. Duffy back in. And Lancaster back in. Six point game, 6.13 to go. Thunder looking to stay perfect. The freeze looking to put themselves in a great position to host a playoff game with a win. Gasm with a takeaway on the pass. Finds Bailey Russell. Bailey will keep the dribble alive. Leah Travers can't get the three to go. It bounces off the top of the backboard and out of bounds. Still a six point game, McMillan. Puts on the brakes, finds the cutting, Duffy, nice pass and great finish by Kiara Duffy. Back a number of years ago, I would have watched both of Kiara's parents, Lord McNeely. Here in, at FHS. Jump ball called. Thunder wanted a foul. Katie Butt set to check back in. Maybe Gasm out. Katie Butts back in. Eight seconds on the shot clock. It'll be freeze ball. Ali McCarthy does a little icky shuffle there to get some of the moisture off the floor. 5.22 to go. Set to go, McCarthy, tough catch. Looking for Russell, nice hands by Duffy. And McMillan picks up the loose ball. Booker Wickey steps on the baseline, trying to go around Amanda Russell, checking back in is Sammy Russell. Three Russells on the floor now. I can't go wrong by saying Russell. Travers looks for three, can't find it. Rebound Katie Butts. Amanda Russell to the glass for two points. 4.35 to go, a six point game. Sammy Russell for Carly Yepes. Back for Sammy Russell. Inside, Kiera Duffy. Can't get that one to go off glass. But it's Alina McMillan who somehow comes away with the ball and gets fouled. Going to be called before the shot. Foul goes on 12. That's Ali McCarthy. And we've got timeout freeze here with 4.14 to go. Good opportunity for me to look forward to the schedule for next week. 
so caught up in the quality action this week. As mentioned, it was Thunder and Hurricanes in a one-point game. Fog won by nine. Courtney Thompson 21 yesterday in a win over the Hornets. Mystics won by two in overtime. And a balanced scoring attack. Lindsay Black, Leo Albert with 14 led the Mystics. Coming up this week, the Freeze will go at the Mystics, 7 o'clock Thursday, Harrison Trimble High School also Thursday. The 56ers wrap up their schedule with a game at the Halifax Thunder, 7 o'clock St. Mary's Friday. Mystics and Fog, UNBSJ in the Port City, I'll be there for that one. Saturday, Port City goes to Miramichi, 7 o'clock, Miramichi Valley High School. Sunday, Thunder and Hornets, 3 o'clock at MSVU to wrap up the Nova Scotia schedule, to wrap up the New Brunswick schedule, the Hurricanes and the Freeze. That is a possible first round playoff matchup. One o'clock, the LB Gym next Sunday. That wraps up the regular season play as they say coming into the only eight games remaining. Only six after today. And they pretty much all matter in terms of standings. A little less so if the Thunder win this one on the Nova Scotia side. But all teams, all games involving New Brunswick teams matter. Nice finish there by Russell. What a game she is having, Sammy Russell. If I had to pick a player of the game right now, it would be Russell. Three doesn't go for the freeze. Rebound Leah Travers looked inside. Now nice pass for Katie Butts. The second attempt from Butts doesn't go. There's two inside for Butts. Freeze needed one of those to go. McCarthy with the takeaway. Nice pass though intended for McMillan. It's a good thought. Just quick hands from McCarthy. Gets the ball back. Butts post position. Pretty tough to not see a call on that. Either a foul or travel, something inside on Butts. 3.18 to go now. Alina McMillan will inbound just in front of the broadcast position here for Sammy Russell. Jenny Enqua with a deflection. Carla Yepes checks in. The Thunder squad just so deep they can bring scoring in at any point in time. The whole roster just full of scorers. Too strong that time on the shot. Rebound Bastion. Breeze need to score. On this possession, really do. Give themselves a chance. Instead, it's a takeaway by Alina McMillan. Yepes says, let's run a little offense here. Back for McMillan. Sandy Saunders doesn't get the two to go. Big miss there. Freeze clear the boards. Katie Butts on the carom. Bailey Russell, aggressive, nearly lost the handle back for Jenny Enqua. 2.20 to go and 12 on the shot clock. Enqua, bounce pass inside for Butts, and it's McMillan with the takeaway. Alina McMillan, great hands. That's Yepes. Oh, now see if that was a push off at the other end, it should have been one here too. It's exactly the same play that Bailey Russell got called for, I thought. Allie McCarthy gets the bank in. Pressure coming from the freeze, minute 40 to go. In a six point contest, Amanda Russell will check back in. Yepes for three. Oh, that's a big bucket for the Thunder. Carly Yepes with the triple. Pushes the lead. Up, 
Timeout. Freeze. That's a big shot right there from Carly Yepes. Yepes, big game yesterday as well on Miramichi. And that was a big, big bucket to see that one go through for the Thunder. Instead of a two possession game, it's a full three. A nine point lead. Freeze have gone cold this quarter, putting up 52 points in the first half. They only have 25 total here with under two minutes to go here in the quarter. Leaving a lot of people scratching their heads, that's for sure. As to where the offense is going to come from. Down the stretch here for the freeze. Freeze are going to advance the ball out of the timeout. With 1.26 to go on the clock, down nine. They need scores and stops. Thunder quite happy just to play tough defense and look after the ball on their own end. They don't need to put the ball in the bucket again. They get the opportunity, I'm sure they will. Bastion, a lot of dribble around for Ali McCarthy, who launches a three. It doesn't go. Butts down on the inside. In a collision with Carly Yepes. Another look at this one on the rebound action. It's going to be Thunderball. Minute 12 to go here. That one missed by Saunders. Rebound McCarthy. Bailey Russell takes the three. That one is wide left. Rebound Thunder under a minute to play. Katie Butts picks up the foul. Not yet in bonus. In fact, a long ways from it. Yepes to the front court, and the gym has gone pretty quiet here after the freeze had the three-point halftime lead, just haven't had the offense together in the second half. Yepes off the foot of the cutting Saunders. 37.1 seconds left. Never say never. Timeout freeze again. They'll advance the ball. That runs the freeze out of timeouts. down there we get to the end of this one I think we'll just wrap it up never failed interview at halftime had an interview we lined up and of course the excitement of the game players ran away I'm sure that will happen again so we'll forego the post game interview gave it an effort at halftime and it didn't work out So assuming in the final 37.1 goes as according to, to this goes, what the Freeze have learned is they can play with anybody playing with this Thunder team. In fact, up at halftime, a few more shots go down here in the second half. And it's a different looking ball game, but the Thunder are right on their season average. They average 88 points, they're at 86, pretty much call that average. Freeze are above their season average. They only average 69, but they have 77 on the board. Bastion gives the foul. Going to be too little too late for the freeze. Again, it'll be inbounded. So with the loss this afternoon, the freeze will drop to 4-4. Four and four. It's going to tie them with the Port City Fog at 4-4. Four and four. Pending the Hurricanes game in Miramichi versus the Hornets. And I haven't checked social media to see if there's any... Results or scores in that one yet. I'll do that quickly right now just to see if I can get any <laughs> scores. I don't see anything posted on that one. McMillan with 
one shot. Yeah, I don't think anything posted on social media. My quick look as Millen makes the second. So pending that outcome of the game, if Miramichi wins that, they could be four and four. So we'd have a three-way tie going into the final games. There's a couple more misses for the freeze before Russell finally gets one to go in. Clock is running, and it's going to be our final score. It's going to be 88-77, so the Thunder are right on their season average of 88 points. As we wrap up here, we've got a four, a two-way tie, at least in New Brunswick. Freeze and the Fog at four and four. Hurricanes could make it a three-way tie at four and four with a win over the Hornets. The Hornets, of course, looking for their first win on the season. Mystics at three and five. So all these games coming up this week. And I'll go over them one more time here as we wrap up the games upcoming this week for New Brunswick teams. It is Thursday, Freeze at Mystics, 7 o'clock, Harrison Trimble. Friday, Mystics at Fog, 7 o'clock, UNBSJ. Saturday, Port City at Miramichi, 7 o'clock, Miramichi Valley. And Sunday, Miramichi at the Freeze, 1 o'clock, the LB Gym. So those four games will determine all of the seeding, seedings in New Brunswick. No matter how we come out of this weekend, it's going to be three teams at four and four, or two teams at four and four, and three teams at three and five, and two teams at three and five. So we could could have an outstanding week of basketball coming up here in New Brunswick. Ali McCarthy picks up the player of the game for the freeze. That'll do it here from the FHS Gymnasium. I'm Bill Gibson. You've been watching Rogers TV coverage of the Maritime Women's Basketball Association. The freeze give the Thunder a game. They were up by three at halftime. Went cold in the second half, and the Thunder kept the scoring alive, winning 88-79 to stay undefeated and move to 8-0 on the season. Folks, come on back again for more coverage on Rogers Sports Exclusive.